Wes Jr. here again at Endurance Productions doing a few uh, movie reviews for you. Uh, folks, what can I say? I went into a used book store, used book and uh, movie store that I frequent here in the local area. Uh, it's Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to veterans out there. Uh, just doing my job for my country and uh, putting a few bucks into the consumerism. Um, I picked up a copy of a movie that I've been putting off and putting off watching or even doing a review on. Because it went straight to video and I just, there again, I've been involved with other projects and other reviewage here lately. Um, the, without further delay, the film is Bruiser by George Romero at the helm. Uh, you'll know George Romero of course from the Night of the Living Dead series, Dawn of the Dead and so on. Um, the Dark Half, he's done a lot of different uh, horror type films. I gotta say folks, for whatever reason I didn't rent this movie before, I do not know. I don't really have a good answer. Um, I paid a few bucks, got the flick, just got finished watching it mere minutes ago. Um, I've read a little bit about it on the internet. Uh, that's how I've learned about the film, uh, reading about it on IMDB, things of that nature. From what I've read, if I'm not mistaken, it didn't get a uh, wide release at the theaters. Um, if it did get a release in the theaters, it was very limited and then at least in my area where I live, it went straight to video. Um, a reason for this? I have no answer. I've, I've not been able to get a definitive answer why this movie didn't go out to the theaters for a wide release. And honestly, if it didn't do a wide release, uh, the only thing I can say is that the studios have seriously messed up. This movie was very, very surprising. Um, it basically centers around a fellow that's basically invisible in his daily life and he wakes up one day with no face, and he has this strange, uh, like, latex uh, covering over his face to where you can't tell his facial features. And he uh, uses this to gain a uh, source of anonymity to go around and get back at people that have done him wrong recently in his life, and that he represses a lot of anger from. Um, don't want to ruin it. Uh, I did, uh, I guess this is a basic, uh, it's not really a special edition DVD. It does have a director's audio commentary on it, but man, folks, if you can find it for cheap or at least go to your video store and rent it, it's uh, it's not your typical George Romero outing. It does have some uh, different uh, type of storyline in it. Uh, there are a few shocks. It's more of a thriller. It's not like a you know slap you across the face horror movie. It's not real gory, anything of that nature. But it does have some solid. Uh, performances and a few good laughs in it surprisingly enough as well it stars uh, some of the fellas uh, some of the people in the movie that you may have seen before was an actor by the name of Jason Fleming uh, I believe he starred in the uh, transporter 2 he played a bad guy in the movie um, also uh, notable in this movie is Peter Stormare I believe I'm saying his name right Peter Stormare he was, he's played multiple uh, different uh, roles. Some of his more notable roles that I like is his role in Fargo. He played one of the kidnappers that uh, kidnapped the, uh, the Minnesota woman. And uh, basically he's been in The Big Lebowski and a few other movies that you may have seen him in. Uh, I believe he's a, a Russian actor. I could be totally wrong. Please don't shoot me, YouTubers. But I know he's, uh, he's a, either a European uh, or a, a Russian actor. But... Uh, he turns in an over-the-top uh, performance in this movie. You just have to watch it. Uh, words don't describe exactly his performance. There again, folks, all in all, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give Bruiser probably a, a good uh, overall 8 on a scale from 1 to 10. It's not the, the foremost best George Romero I've ever watched, but it is a very good, solid movie that I think everybody that's at least a horror buff or a thriller buff or even a George Romero fan should see. Well, go out to your video store, give it, a, give it a view, Bruiser by George Romero. Draw your own conclusions, and again, this is B. West Jr. at Endurance Productions. Take care, folks.